Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze a two-hinged parabolic arch. Before analyzing, let us see the question one time. Evaluate the horizontal thrust in a two-hinged parabolic arch of span 18 meter and rise 6 meter carrying an UDL of 20 kN per meter over the left half span assuming second variation of its sectional moment of area also determine the position and value of maximum positive bending moment calculate the normal thrust and radial shear at the section determine the position and value of maximum negative bending moment calculate the bending moment at the crown and draw bending moment diagram using the data available in the question we can draw this diagram length of the arch is given as 18 meter the rise of the arch is given as 6 meter this arch is carrying an UDL of 20 kN per meter on the left half span in this question first we have to calculate the horizontal thrust then we have to calculate the maximum positive bending moment and the location where it occurs also we have to calculate the maximum negative bending moment and the location where it occurs finally we have to calculate the bending moment in the crown and we have to draw the bending moment diagram now let us calculate the vertical reactions first i am going to calculate the vertical reaction bb for that i am going to take moment about a in this case i am moving towards left hand side clockwise will be negative anti clockwise will be positive the vertical reaction vb is acting towards the point a in the anti clockwise direction so it will be positive and the distance is 18 meter so 18 bb the udl 20 kN per meter is acting towards the point a in the clockwise direction so it will be negative for the udl we have to multiply the load with the distance and distance by 2 the distance is 9 meter so 9 into 9 by 2 finally we are getting vb which is equal to 45 kN now let us calculate va to calculate va let us consider the total load in this arch we are having only one load that is the udl 20 kN per meter it is acting for 9 meter when we multiply this 20 with 9 we will get the total load 180 kN the total load minus vb we will get va which is equal to 135 kN we know the formula for the horizontal thrust h is equal to integration of m0 y dx upon integration of y square dx in this formula first let us calculate the numerator integration of m0 y dx to calculate this we have to make sections in this arch in this arch there are two different parts one on the left side and one on the right side so there are two different parts because on the first half udl is acting and the second half there is no load so we are having two different parts so we have to make two sections one on the left half and one on the right half you can see that i have made two sections one on the left half and one on the right half so the numerator integration of m0 y dx is split into two integrations for the first integration we have to consider the first section for the second integration we have to consider the second section the limits for the first integration are 0 to 9 because up to 9 meter the udl is acting the limits for the second integration also 0 to 9 because it is the remaining part now let us make the first integration for that we have to consider the first section we know that m0 is the moment about the section without considering 
the horizontal thrust we are going to calculate m01 from the point a in this case we are moving towards right hand side clockwise will be positive and anti clockwise will be negative up to the section we are having two loads the vertical reaction 135 kN and the udl 20 kN per meter the vertical reaction va 135 kN is acting towards the section in the clockwise direction so it will be positive and the distance is x so 135x the udl is acting towards the section in the anti clockwise direction so it will be negative for the udl we have to multiply the load with the distance and the distance by 2 here the distance is x so x into x by 2 here we can cut 2 and 20 here it will be 10 from both of these values we can take 10 outside finally for m01 we are getting this we know the formula for y 4hx into l minus x upon l square in this formula let us apply the value of h 6 meter and l 18 meter after calculation we have formed a new equation for y let's apply the value of m01 and y in the integration for the integration we can apply all of the values in the calculator and get the result if you do not know how to make integration in the calculator see the description below there is a link you can click the link and watch the video for getting ideas how to make integration in the calculator we can integrate manually also but it will take more time for manual integration we have to apply this formula integration of x power n dx is equal to x power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 before integrating let us take the constants outside 10 and 2 upon 27 is the constant we can take it outside then let us multiply these two terms after multiplying we are getting these then let's add these two values after adding we are getting this then we can go for integration when we integrate x square we will get x cube upon 3 when we integrate x cube we will get x power 4 upon 4 when we integrate x power 4 we will get x power 5 upon 5 then let's apply the limits no need to apply the zero limit because when we apply the whole term will become zero so no need to apply and waste the time only apply the upper limit 9 when we apply 9 instead of x we are getting this after the calculation we are getting integration of m01 y dx is equal to 14215.5 in the numerator we have made the first integration now let us make the second integration for that we have to consider the second section in this section let us calculate m02 up to the section we are having only one load that is the vertical reaction vb 45 kN there is no other load now we are going to calculate m02 from the point b in this case we are moving towards left hand side clockwise will be negative anti clockwise will be positive the vertical reaction 45 kN is acting towards the section in the anti clockwise direction so it will be positive and the distance is x so 45x for y we have already made one equation in the integration let us apply the value of m02 and y in the integration let us multiply 45 and 2 upon 27 and take it outside then let us multiply this x with this term when we do that we are getting this then we can go for integration when we integrate x square we will get x cube upon 3 when we integrate x cube we will get x power 4 upon 4 
then let us apply the limits no need to apply the lower limit only apply the upper limit finally for integration of m0 to y2 dx we are getting 9112.5 in the numerator we have calculated both of the integrations we can apply the values then we can add them after adding we are getting integration of m0 to y dx is equal to 23328 in the horizontal thrust formula we have calculated the numerator now let us calculate the denominator integration of y square dx in this integration for the value of y let us apply the equation which we have already formed the limits for the integration are 0 to 18 because y will be changing constantly for the whole length of the arch so the limits are 0 to 18 now let us take the constant 2 upon 27 outside but we have to be very careful before taking it outside we have to square it 2 square is equal to 4 27 square is equal to 729 for this term let us apply a minus b the whole square formula the formula is a square minus 2ab plus b square using the formula we are getting this then let us go for integration when we integrate x square we will get x cube upon 3 when we integrate x cube we will get x power 4 upon 4 when we integrate x power 4 we will get x power 5 upon 5 then let us apply the limits here also no need to apply the lower limit only apply the upper limit after the calculation we are getting integration of y square dx is equal to 345.6 in the horizontal thrust formula we have calculated the numerator and the denominator let us apply the values after applying we are getting h is equal to 67.5 kN alternatively we can use the formula and find out the horizontal thrust the formula is w l square upon 16h here w is 20 l is 18 h is 6 when we apply in the formula here also we are getting horizontal thrust h is equal to 67.5 kN in the question we have been asked to find out the maximum positive bending moment and the maximum negative bending moment first let us calculate the maximum positive bending moment the maximum positive bending moment occurs on the left side of the arch because on the left side only we are having the UDL on the right side there is no load so the maximum positive bending moment occurs on the left side but we do not know where it occurs so let us make one section in this section we have to calculate moment up to the section we are having two vertical loads 135 kN and 20 kN per meter also we are having the horizontal thrust 67.5 kN the vertical reaction 135 kN is acting towards the section in the clockwise direction so it will be positive and the distance is x so 135x the UDL is acting towards the section in the anti-clockwise direction so it will be negative for the UDL we have to multiply with the distance and distance by 2 here distance is x so x into x by 2 we will get x square upon 2 the horizontal thrust is acting in the anticlockwise direction so it will be negative for the horizontal thrust the perpendicular distance is yx for y we have already made one equation let us apply that after simplifying these values we are getting mx is equal to 45x minus 5x square now we have to find the value of x to find the value of x we can apply the condition for maximum positive bending moment dmx upon dx is equal to 0 
when we differentiate this equation with respect to x it will be 0 when we differentiate x it will be 1 45 into 1 we will get 45 when we differentiate x square it will be 2x 2x into 5 we will get 10x in this way we can calculate x which is equal to 4.5 meter so the maximum positive bending moment occurs at 4.5 meter from the left support we can apply x is equal to 4.5 meter in this equation when we do that we are getting the maximum positive bending moment which is equal to 101.25 kN meter alternatively we can calculate the maximum positive bending moment using the formula we have already derived this formula in the previous video the formula is WL square upon 64. Here W is 20 and L is 18. After calculation, we are getting 101.25 kN meter. To find the location where it occurs, we can apply the formula x is equal to L upon 4. In this way, we are getting 4.5 meter. So the maximum positive bending moment occurs at 4.5 meter from the left in the question we have been asked to find out the normal thrust and radial shear in the section where the maximum positive bending moment occurs we already know the maximum positive bending moment occurs at 4.5 meter from the left support so we have to calculate the normal thrust and radial shear at 4.5 meter from the left support to calculate the normal thrust and radial shear, we have to find the slope and the shear force Vx. To calculate slope, we can apply this formula. In this formula, h is equal to 6 meter, l is equal to 18 meter and x is equal to 4.5 meter. After applying in the formula, we are getting theta is equal to 33.69. We are calculating Vx towards right side, in this case upwards positive, downwards negative. 135 kN is acting upwards, so it will be positive. 20 kN per meter is acting downwards, so it will be negative. For the UDL, we have to multiply with the distance. Finally, we are getting Vx is equal to 45 kN. Now let us calculate normal thrust and radial shear using these formulas. Finally for normal thrust we are getting 81.12 kN and for radial shear we are getting 0. Now let us calculate the maximum negative bending moment. The maximum negative bending moment occurs on the right side of the arch because on the right side there is no load. To find the location let us make one section at a distance of x. In this section, we have to find the moment. Up to the section, we are having vertical reaction 45 kN and horizontal thrust 67.5 kN. There is no other load. We are going to calculate the moment from the point B. In this case, we are moving towards left hand side. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. The vertical reaction is acting towards the section in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be positive and the distance is x, so 45x. The horizontal thrust is acting in the clockwise direction, so it will be negative. For the height, we can apply this equation. After simplification, we are getting mx is equal to minus 45x plus 5x square. To calculate the value of x, let us apply the condition dmx upon dx is equal to 0. When we differentiate x, it will be 1. 1 into minus 45, we will get minus 45. When we differentiate x square, it will be 2x. 2x into 5, we will get 10x. Finally, we are getting x is equal to 4.5 meter. So, the maximum negative bending moment occurs at 4.5 meter from the right side. Let us apply the value of x in this equation. 
finally we are getting the maximum negative bending moment is equal to minus 101.25 kN meter alternatively we can use the formula minus wl square upon 64 here also we are getting the same value to find out the location we can apply the formula l upon 4 so the maximum negative bending moment occurs at 4.5 meter from the right side in the question we have been asked to find out the bending moment at the crown let us calculate the bending moment at the crown from the right side because it is more easier up to the crown we are having the vertical reaction 45 kN and the horizontal thrust 67.5 kN we are going to calculate the movement in the crown from the point B in this case we are moving towards left hand side clockwise will be negative anticlockwise will be positive the vertical reaction is acting towards the crown in the anticlockwise direction so it will be positive and the distance is 9 meter the horizontal thrust is acting in the clockwise direction so it will be negative the height is 6 meter after calculation we are getting 0 so the bending moment at the crown is equal to 0 now let us make the bending moment diagram in the crown the bending moment is 0 on the left side the bending moment is positive so it comes above the arch on the right side the bending moment is negative so it comes below the arch also we have calculated the maximum positive bending moment and maximum negative bending moment we can apply the values since we had UDL on the left side the bending moment diagram will be in the shape of a parabola now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video